Hello Leo, this is Renee and welcome back. Leo, we're going to take a look at your May messages. So we're going to take a look at May, what's coming forward for my lovely Leo in May. So we're going to take a look at your love, your money. We're going to go ahead and get your challenge and get some advice. And then we'll go ahead and pull your fortune oracle, which I will reveal at the end and then an angel number so stay tuned to the end my lovely leo okay and if this reading resonates like and subscribe if it doesn't take a look at your other placements they may be speaking to you more at this time okay so we have flirt extend your light-hearted energy to others you know you may be very flirtatious <laughs> in this month you know, you may be giving a lot of people your energy, okay? But I, I feel a very flirtatious energy, a very uplifting energy. So I, I feel like that energy that you're sharing with others is actually a very pleasant, very easygoing, you know? It's, it's like showing that glow within yourself, showing it outward, right? So let's take a look at your money. What's going on with Leo's money in the month of May? Okay, work through your fears. When it comes to your finances, there's something that you're kind of worried about. There's something that maybe you have more expenses than you have income at the moment. But I feel like Spirit is letting you know to work through those fears. You know, we only have... A certain amount of time and we only have a certain amount of money but all money is always flowing to us right and that's the message that I'm getting money is always flowing to you you just have to keep your vibration high and set your intentions okay um, for your fortune Oracle we have cracker Positive energy surrounds you. Love, joy, and good fortune await. Okay? We'll take a look at the meaning of that at the very end. So let's go ahead and get your energy for love. Let's go ahead and get your energy for love. What's going on with Leo when it comes to their love life in the month of May? Give me a message, Spirit. What can Leo expect in the month of May? What messages do we have for Leo for the month of May in their love life? What messages, please? Okay, we have the Hierophants. So you may be spiritually guided during this month. You may also be meeting with someone who is more traditional, someone who has high values. Um, but I'm really getting this as you being spiritually in alignment, right? Uh, you could be learning something or teaching something as well. Maybe you're learning, you're learning new ways to love or maybe you're trying to teach someone how you prefer to be loved, right? So let's get some more messages for Leo. Okay, we have the Four of Swords. So you're working on your rest, your rejuvenation. You're moving forward, okay? And I feel like you're moving towards, you know, giving yourself what you need, right? Taking care of your needs. You're moving forward. You know, putting yourself first. And I feel like that's definitely putting you into a more spiritual path. I feel like spirit is very strong with you in the month of May. You know, you may feel more intuitive, more in line, more in sync. You know, at a more high vibration during the month of May. You know... Yeah, we have the King of Cups and the Six of Cups. So I definitely feel like, you know, you are focused on your heart space and family. 
okay? You're focused on love. Look at this. We have the Queen of Cups at the bottom. So this is a divine partnership, you know? I feel like if you're connected to someone, I feel like you and this person are like taking that next level, taking that higher step. You could be, you know, talking about starting a family, talking about meeting each other's family, you know, or just building this life together you know just enjoying each other so i feel like the month of may is going to be a very loving and spiritual month for you this has a lot of love a lot of interaction a lot of ways that you're putting yourself first you're also focused on love and that's really beautiful leo okay so we'll go ahead and clarify these cards towards the end now let's go ahead and take a look at your money situation. So let's take a look at Leo's money. What's going on with Leo's money? Spirit, give me a message. What's going on with Leo's money in the month of May? What's going on with Leo's money in the month of May? Okay. Okay, so we have the Six of Pentacles. We have the Three of Cups. What else? I'm liking the Six of Pentacles here because that's reciprocity. That's actually, you know, giving as much as you receive. And it can also be you being very generous. You know, or someone being very generous to you. It may be some type of increase. Okay, we have the Queen of Pentacles. That's a good sign as well. I'm liking it. We have the Ace of Cups. And we also have the Nine of Swords. Okay, at the bottom we have the Queen of Cups again. So there she is showing up again. So I feel like, you know, your love life is actually kind of overflowing into your finances a bit because that Queen of Cups is showing up, you know. This could be your significant other, your soulmate, your counterpart, you know, working with you with these finances. It may be scary. I feel like you have some worries when it comes to maybe uh, taking care of your finances. Maybe you've started taking care of your finances together because we have the Three of Cups here. So this is a card of community, a card of partnership, you know, a card of friendship. So I feel like you definitely may be um, kind of putting your money together, kind of pulling it together to bring more stability, to bring more balance. Right, because we have this, this idea of stability and balance here, you know, and, and I feel like that, you know, this is bringing a lot more satisfaction to your finances with this Ace of Cups. You know, this is newness. This is a beginning, but I feel like it's also really scary because now you not only have to depend on yourself, but you have to depend on the person that you're dealing with to have the same situation. So, my lovely Neo, see, let's go ahead and see what your challenge is. Let's see what is going to be challenging my lovely Leo in the month of May. What is going to be their challenge in the month of May? Now, if you're not connected to somebody, Leo, I also see that, you know, you are bringing more stability and more balance into your finances. And I feel, like I said, I feel like this could be kind of scary. You could be dealing with still worries on how you're going to take care of certain situations. But I feel like you are coming out on top. You have this, these finances together, you know. You, you will be fine when it comes to your finances. Okay, let's take a look at your uh, challenge. We have the Knight of Swords, the Moon card, and the Two of Cups. At the bottom, we have the Fool. 
So, my lovely Leo, what is going to be challenging you? Okay. Um, your challenge. Your, actually, your challenge is to take action. Even if you really don't understand the answers right now, even if something isn't fully um, revealed to you, to take action. You know, um, there's another message that I'm getting is not to be too hasty in a situation to give more information, to give more information, to make something become more clear. Because at the moment, I feel like there are certain things in your life that may be kind of unclear at the moment. It may be situations to do with the partnership, to do with, you know, uh, the Two of Cups can actually be more than just love. The Two of Cups can actually be um, partnership, you know, business, uh, some kind of contracts that you're doing. You know, not to jump in the, these situations very hastily. You know, to, to get all the information first before you jump into this. Uh, because twos in tarot are all about choices, right? So, two of cups could also be a choice that you need to make. Some kind of decision that needs to be made. Now, of course, if this has to do with love, um, there may be some things that may be kind of unclear to you at the moment, but don't rush to quick thinking um, that's going to be impulsive or hasty or, you know, that kind of situation that's going to hinder this love experience. Because you have this new beginning. So I feel like the fool is telling you to have faith in where the situation is taking you. Because the fool, he's going on a journey. But he doesn't know where his, de his destination is going to lead him. He's just following the path of the universe. You know, he's following with no intended destination. He's just taking the journey, okay? So I feel like, you know, even though you may be a little naive in this situation, I feel like, you know, there are changes that can be made along the way. You know, you don't have to um, settle on one aspect all the time, okay? Does that make sense? Okay, let's go ahead and get some advice. Let's get your advice, Leo. Let's get your advice. Give me some advice for Leo. Ooh. Okay, so we have the Emperor. We have the Two of Swords. There's those choices. Being strong, communication, taking action, and the King of Wands. Okay, so all about reciprocity. Equal give and take. Okay, so whatever situation that you put yourself in, whether it be love, finances, or in life in general, it's going to be reciprocity. Okay, equal give and take, having that balance, being in alignment, and you're going to be able to take more control over a situation. You're going to be able to make better decisions and be stronger in the outcome. Um, it also helps to have open communication to being able to take action where action is needed and also with this king of wands energy this king of wands energy is actually being able to see the big picture you know overcoming the challenges so i feel like by doing those you're going to overcome any challenges, any challenge that you face. You know, you're going to be able to see the big picture by keeping open communication. 
you know, being in control of yourself, your needs, your wants, your, you know, the way that you express yourself. Okay. And, you know, making those healthy choices and being strong in your situation, having courage, being fearless. Okay. This is your card, Leo. You're stepping out in a very strong way. We also have Aries here. We also have Pisces here, right? We have a lot of air energy. So this is Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. There's a lot of air. Okay. So you could be dealing with a Libra Pisces, excuse me, a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, you know? Um, but I feel like having that open communication and taking action where it's needed is going to help you a great deal. You know, you're going to make those beautiful changes that you need to make and avoid conflict. You know, you're going to have more good fortune. Okay, so let's go ahead and clarify these cards a little bit for Leo. Okay, so... Spirit, give me a message for Leo. Why is the Four of Swords here and the Six of Swords? Give me a message. Why is the Four of Swords here and the Six of Swords? Why is the Four of Swords here and the Six of Swords? Okay, the High Priestess. Yeah, I feel like something is going to be revealed to you. You know, I feel like you're putting more time into yourself because you see that's exactly what you need to do at the moment. You see that that's exactly what, you know, is bringing you more comfort. It's bringing you more um, satisfaction as far as this high priestess. You know, you may be listening to your inner voice or seeing some kind of divine truth. The high priestess, she's also very spiritual. So I feel like things are being revealed to you at this moment for you putting in this extra time for yourself, you know, and um, I feel like you have a lot of desire to kind of take control of your love life and make the situation work. I feel like you really care about the person that you're with. If you're not currently in a relationship, I feel like in this month of May, there's going to be someone that you are spiritually drawn to that is going to increase your desire to be with this person, to pursue this person, to in, ensure this, this interaction happens for you, right? So let's take a look. Why is the King of Cups... And the Six of Cups here. Give me a message. Why is the King of Cups and the Six of Cups here? Is this someone from the past or someone new? Okay. We have the Five of Pentacles. This may have been someone that you left behind. This may have been someone from the past for some of you. Okay. Um, this may have been... A situation that you may have walked away from due to feeling kind of left in the cold with this person. Maybe they, you know, maybe you didn't have any contact with this person, you know, and all of a sudden they show up. All of a sudden they want your attention. But I feel like nonetheless, if this is someone that you have been separated for, for for a while, I feel I really feel like this is your counterpart. This is someone that you're meant to be with. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at your finances. Why is the three of cups here and the queen of pentacles? The four of cups. There is an opportunity that you're going to accept that's going to give you more increase okay there's an opportunity on the table that is very appealing to you you may not have received this opportunity just yet but this opportunity is coming and i feel like you're accepting this opportunity 
You know, you're accepting some kind of job offer, some kind of venture, because it's going to bring you in more income. Okay, why is the Ace of Cups here and the Nine of Swords? Okay, we have the Five of Swords. I feel like you're very passionate. We have the Seven of Wands at the bottom. You're very passionate when it comes to your finances. You're very diligent. You know, you want to be able to have enough. That's your priority. You want to be able to have enough. And I feel like you're kind of trying to get there at all costs. You know, maybe you've been reading books on how to gain more financial stability. You know, maybe you've been reading books on manifestation, on, you know, um, law of attraction, law of assumption. You know, you've been doing some kind of soul searching, some, some kind of review that is pulling you into this, this realization that all the things that you learned, you want to create in your reality, okay? You want to put this into your life. You want to be victorious, okay? There, there's something that you really want to be victorious of when it comes to your finances. And I feel like you're standing your ground. You're maintaining control of whatever this is, right? So let's go ahead and take a look at your Oracle card and see what this means to you. It's number seven. Okay, so we have Cracker. This is a rather auspicious card. Personally, you're on fire and there is an explosion of positive energy surrounding your aura. This card will deliver much excitement and good news is also likely. Offers may come in professionally. So dress to impress at every opportunity. You will feel on top of the world and everyone will want to be near you. Celebrations are waiting. So get out your glitzy, glee, your glitzy gear for all those social get-togethers and be prepared for plenty of action. Travel is a potential highlight for this time too. So go for the gold. Okay, in your personal relationships, the uplifting vibe you have will attract many admirers. Love is sizzling for singles. Attractions and passions will run riot. Accept any and all invitations so you are at the right place at the right time to meet that special person. New friendships will also be made, but watch for overindulging in too much food and alcohol. This will dampen your positive energy. Let your golden aura shine brightly and everyone will want to be close to you. Okay, your money and career. Your enthusiastic attitude will go down well with colleagues, bosses, and clients alike. You will impress them with all of your positivity and business meetings could be particularly successful. Know that you can be the best. You will be admired and may be offered promotions or win some money. Some great money making ideas could also come your way. This is an excellent time for purchasing property or selling and investing. Be assertive and ask for what you want. Your timing is sensational. Okay, and your power tip. Place a fabulous picture of yourself in a gold bejeweled frame. Place it where you can see it daily. Wear gold jewelry and place gold items around your home to increase your sparkling appear, appeal. Okay? So that is your oracle card, okay? So let's go ahead and get your angel number. So my lovely Leo, your angel number is 000, guidance. 
you have full support of the divine. The guidance you are seeking is here and your life is moving in the right direction. This is the start of a new beginning where one cycle ends and new begins. Okay, your affirmation. I trust in the magic of new beginnings. I feel the support and the guidance that is all around me. Okay, so beautiful. So my beautiful Leo. This is your reading for May. So if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. If it doesn't resonate with you, make sure to take a look at your other placements. They could be speaking to you more clearly at this moment, especially due to the eclipse season. Okay, and uh, until your next reading, Leo, many blessings to you. Love and beautiful light.